Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Profit and as always, I'm a life and relationship coach. I help you build an intentional relationship that leads to a godly and successful marriage. And in today's video, we'll be talking about standard versus fantasy. So if you're interested, keep watching. So when we talk about standards and fantasy, what do I mean by that? Um, when I talk about standards, I talk about those principles, life principles that you that helps you make decisions and like that. Those are the things I see as standard. I know in some of my videos I've talked about this previously, but I just want to help us to understand something today because most time I discovered that the reason why most people find it difficult to actually have a successful relationship is because they confuse standards and fantasies. You understand? So standards are like principles. They are like guiding principles that help you to um, actually um, run your life so like they are your core values they are things that define who you are so for example for instance i can say that one of my standards in life is not to, is not to engage in premarital sex or one of my standards in life is not to date someone who is not a christian those are core standards and i operate by those standards those are rules that guide my life so in that in, in, when i say this so i can't get into a relationship with somebody who doesn't meet up to this standard. I know that one thing most people confuse is that they come to a point in their life where maybe they have a standard and people start telling them your standards are too high and all those kinds of see standards are never high. The truth about the matter is that anybody who really deserves you will meet your standard. One thing you shouldn't do as a person is to lower your standards for anybody. At every point in time, you should try as much as possible to increase your standards. Yes, you increase your standards as you keep discovering yourself, keep knowing what works for you and what doesn't work for you. Because I, I've, I've seen persons where they set standards for themselves and because they are so desperate to get married, maybe the guy is trying to say something and they feel like, oh, the guy probably your standards are too high, nobody can meet this standard. They tend to start lowering their standards. Remember that standards are not just wish lists, they're not just wishes. They are core principles that you have in life, things that determine how you function in your life. So when you have a high standard, see, there are persons out there who always meet your high standard. There are persons, there are guys, there are ladies out there too who have high standards too. Those people understand yourself. So you should always, at every point in your time, in your life, look for persons who understand your standards. You should always try to find people who you can relate with and your standards are in alignment because the truth about it is that it's either you and um, when you when you enter a relationship with persons that have low standards they'll try to bring you low they'll try to bring you down and when they succeed then that means you are now living below what you're supposed to be living for in life so that's like what i see standard as for. they are core things that help you to function well in life then what are fantasies fantasies are probably ideas maybe from telemundo or z world Maybe the ideas people get from all these um, stuff. They are, sometimes it boils down to maybe the way you grew up. You grew up that marriage should be this way, marriage should be that way, relationship may, they will carry you, you have plenty made, line up and down, those kind of things. So when you now get into a relationship, you now carry your fantasies into that relationship and you now want your partner to be displaying those things you see as fantasies. It doesn't make sense. It's actually wickedness for you to want your partner to do things that you know that they are not so vital for a successful marriage because you have watched a movie and you're fantasizing about those things so that's what fantasies are they are not real most times they cannot be achieved you're just dreaming or you're daydreaming about it you just wish it to come to pass so those are um fantasies one thing i have noticed about some persons is that they the, one of the fantasies they bring into a relationship is that probably in a in a previous relationship there was a certain way that their partner was treating them that they actually loved but that relationship did not work out so they carry that kind of treatment and enter into another relationship now they want their new partner to treat them the way their ex used to treat them see you can't get a person to act like another person because that's what you want that's fantasy 
that's fantasy. Yeah, that relationship will never work because you are trying to make them act in a certain way. And them too, they might be trying to make you act in a certain way too. And at the end of the day, discover that both of you keep having clashes in the relationship. So it's different. It's understandable that you have a standard and you have a way you want things to happen in your relationship. Those ones are clear. They are clear. They are not wishes. They are not things you can um, you can just play around with. So I I, I know that um, sometimes we might not take this thing so serious, but there's something I want to tell us is this. You don't adjust your standard. What you adjust is your fantasy. So when you get into a relationship and somebody is trying to make you to lower your standard, tell them no, they cannot lower this standard because these are your core principles in life. I cannot sleep with a man that I'm not married to. They are core principles. But there are things like fantasies. Maybe someone will tell you, you have to kneel down and propose to me. Those things are not, they are fantasies. They are not, um, they don't determine a successful relationship. So for instance, if they say you must kneel down, those things, so you can just say, okay, no problem. She's kneeling down, no wala. You will not die if you need that, all those kind of stuff. You just overlook it and do, do them. So the only thing you can adjust is fan, um, fantasies, but you cannot adjust your standard for people. Because when you try to adjust your standards for people, they will bring you down to their level and they will probably make you lose value for yourself. So you try as much as possible to build standards for yourself and also wait, watch out for fantasies, the fantasies you have in your mind. You also as a person, think about it. Don't try to make somebody live the life you want when it's not in alignment with the life they actually um, are supposed to be living for themselves. So learn to adjust to each other, learn to adjust to each other. It's very, very important. Drop your fantasies, become more real, become more realistic, become more realistic. Forget about all these things you see in some movies. Those things are scripted, they are movies. They don't really actually work in real life. I know some of them might look very romantic, but try as much as possible to understand that the person you are in a relationship with is different from the person you are seeing in the movie. The person you are in a relationship with is different from the person you are seeing in the movie. The movie is scripted. It might not even be that person's real character in the movie itself. So, so don't bring that into your relationship. There are lessons to learn from those movies. Ensure that whatever you are bringing to your relationship are things that are achievable. They are realistic. They can be done by a partner. You discuss them with your partner and if they feel like they can do it, then they will do it for you. But if it's something that can, they cannot do don't make an issue out of it because that's what most people do most people make issue out of fantasies you just want your guy or your lady to meet your fantasy and you're there creating a scene in public and all those kind of things so it doesn't make sense i know that the world today we are in they have created so many trends things that we do before you get married this one that one so see if you really want to enjoy your relationship you have to be real enough you have to be real you have to create core values. You have to focus on core values and leave fantasies. Yes, fantasies make you feel special. It makes you feel loved. It makes you feel romantic and all those kind of things. They are good. But when your partner is unable to meet those fantasies, then you have to learn how to adjust and drop it. You get what I'm saying? I'm not saying that you should kill off all your fantasies because we all have it. But when you discover that a fantasy something that you are dreaming about that you know it's not so important it's not a do or die affair and your partner is unable to meet that fantasy then drop it this is the point you have to adjust to your partner but when you know that these are things i cannot do without they are my standard they are my cover then you uphold them out there you uphold them you keep holding them so strong so that's the difference between fantasy and standards my standard are covered they are principles that cannot be broken. Why fantasies are principles that can be mended, they can be adjusted, they can be broken, they can be um, lowered down so that each of you can meet each other at the end. But core, but core values, standards are things you cannot joke with. So I believe this video, video has helped you to understand the two, the difference between standard and fantasy so that you know the one that you're exhibiting in your relationship. If you know you're exhibiting and um, fantasies, please drop it so you can be able to enjoy a successful relationship. Thank you for once again for watching today's video. I believe you have learned so much. Please do subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified the next time I'll be uploading a video and don't forget to visit my Facebook page, Life and Relationship Coaching with Profit, and I believe you will learn a lot if you go through my page. Thank you very, very much for watching today's video. See you in the next video.